Hi everybody, how you doing today? I'm sitting here in my living room again. I got up early this morning because it got a little bit cloudy and I looked out my kitchen window as I washed my hands and there was the sun just coming up over the horizon. Well, I couldn't really see the horizon, but I saw lots of beautiful orange and red colors. And just imagine all the people in our world who are taking in that view. Actually, they have to be around in the same time zone as we are, but uh, you might not know them by name and you've probably never met them, but there we all are looking at those same beautiful colors and imagining what the day is going to be like. So in my neighborhood and maybe in yours too, the children are playing a game, which I first heard about on the app called nextdoor.com. And if you want to play along, what you do is you put a teddy bear in your window. And then when families take a walk, they look for the teddy bears in the window and they see if they can count how many they can find. So I'm going to show you. Here's our teddy bear sitting in the window. There he is. He's been sitting in our window for about three days now. And every day I see more and more families walking by with dogs and with children. And so I bet that a lot of us have been doing a lot of looking out the window lately. It's kind of like that dividing line between our private lives and our public lives. And now that our public lives have either been put on hold or put on the computer, our windows have taken on new meaning. And I, as I said, I've seen a lot of families walking by lately. And my dog Beckett has certainly been entertained by, all, by it all as it gives him a lot more reasons to bark. So I'll share with you today in the book of Malachi chapter 1. It says, my name will be great among the nations from where the sun rises to where it sets, says the Lord Almighty. So God's name is great. And so our faith, therefore, can stay, can stay strong, even in difficult times like what we're in now. Faith is a gift. And when somebody gives you a gift, you, you usually don't refuse it. No matter how you're feeling, that would be kind of um, not a good thing to do. So when we don't feel very faithful, we know that God, we, we can know that God is still at work, that the sun still rises and then it sets. And that's because of who God is and not who we are. So I'm giving thanks for the little things today. I made some sweet potato soup, sweet potato carrot soup, and when I went for a jog this morning, it felt a whole lot like spring. So I invite you to pray with me. Dear God, we pray today for um, our whole world. We give you thanks for the little things in life, for soup on the stove, for sunrises and sunsets, for teddy bears, for all of the signs of springs that we have now. For we ask for your hand to be on our lives um, and on your world today to heal us and bring us together in new and different ways. We, we pray in your name today. Amen. All right. I will see you later. See you next time. Take good care and blessings. Bye-bye.